Hello everyone and welcome to my talk. I'm Anna Katharina Hofer and today I will tell you about my latest research on texturing aluminum ceramics with 3D printing. A short introduction about myself. I'm working at the Department of Material Science at Montana University Leoben. And since last year, um, we also have a ceramic processing lab with a tape caster and a LCM 3D printer. I am part of the ERC program where we have three PhD students focusing on the simulation, the characterization and the processing of multi-material architectures as well as the tailoring of ceramic microstructures and I am responsible for the processing part. I started my research with texturing ceramics. When we look at ceramic microstructures, the grains are usually randomly oriented. So what I'm trying to do now is to give the grains a certain orientation, meaning to induce a texture to the microstructure. So why is texture or the orientation of grains in ceramic microstructures of interest? Well, when we think about um, single crystals of ceramic materials, they often show asymmetric crystal structures. As for example, alumina has a hexagonal crystal structure. This asymmetry leads to anisotropic structural and functional properties. Of course, it would be great to profit from higher or better properties from certain um, planes or directions of the crystal structure, also in polycrystals. Nature has found a way already to profit from those anisotropic properties. The mollusk shell ex exhibits a brick and mortar structure. Here, single crystals are stacked on top of each other in a certain direction and are surrounded by uh, organic material representing the mortar in the structure. This structure leads to very high strength and fracture toughness, resulting in a very wide damage tolerance. In comparison, as we all know, ceramics show a rather brittle behavior with a low fracture toughness and a narrow damage tolerance. So if they fail, they usually fail catastrophic. So now the idea is to take the advantages of the asymmetry of single crystals of ceramic materials and the brick and mortar structure of a mollusk shell and apply it to ceramics, meaning to induce a texture. A texture have benefits according to um, the crack propagation in a ceramic. When the crack dissipates in a randomly oriented ceramic very straight, in a texture ceramic it is deflected and bifurcation occurs. This leading to an increase in fracture toughness because the crack energy is decreased. The higher fracture toughness leads to a higher strength as shown in this diagram where the blue line represents the textured alumina and the red line, the exact alumina with the lower strength than the textured alumina. A number of groups have already been working on texturing ceramics. They all use suspensions with platelets of high aspect ratio and techniques where the platelets are aligned. An example would be tape casting here the platelets are aligned through sheet forces appearing between the doctor plate and the moving carrier case. In ice templating, controlled freezing in a certain direction aligns the platelets. And a last example, magnetic field alignment. Here, a second phase, which is magnetic, is added to the suspension with the platelets and through the application of a magnetic field, the platelets are aligned through the second phase. After sintering, the 
they aligned platelets result in oriented uh, an oriented brain structure so our aim now was to fabricate highly textured alumina with additive manufacturing for the first time so now one would say if i just showed a number of techniques where it is possible to fabricate texture why is it of interest to also fabricate texture with additive manufacturing well one reason which is often mentioned is the possibility of fabricating complex shapes and very fine structures with 3d printing for example the process we were using achieves finances of structures um, at around 100 to 200 micrometers. Another reason is the possibility of fabricating multi-materials. On the one side, laminates can be fabricated, but also parts of more complex shapes, as for example here, um, a bone implant where the shell is another material than the core. Here we can profit from different properties of different materials and combine them. In our case, an example would be a tooth where the core could be textured, um, showing a very high fracture toughness and the shell or the coating is very dense and has a high strength. The process we were using to realize um, the idea of texturing alumina with 3D printing was the lithography-based ceramic manufacturing technology. This technology was invented by the Lithus GmbH based on digital light processing. Here, a photosensitive suspension is cured into a transparent bed and is distrib distributed through a plate through wet rotation and through light exposure the suspension is polymerized solidifies and the layer attaches to the building platform or the previous printed layer another method that has to be mentioned um, which is necessary to achieve texture is the method of templated brain growth called TGG short. For TGG platelets are combined platelets with a high aspect ratio are combined with a submicron sized um, ceramic powder of the same material. Platelets are aligned and liquid phase sintering is applied because it is desired that abnormal brain growth occurs in extent y direction that um, elongated textured grains are achieved. Two materials were fabricated um, on the one side Ectex alumina as reference material here a commercially available Alumina slurry was used from Litos GmbH and um, our material of interest, textured alumina, was fabricated. For textured alumina, alumina platelets were added for achieving texture, then sintering additives for liquid phase sintering and some additional dispersant since the solid sluting was increased and to keep the viscosity at the same level. As I mentioned, to achieve te texture and for templated grain growth, the platelets have to be aligned. The LCM process shows high similarities to plate casting. Here, the platelets are aligned through occurring shear forces um, during wet rotation between the doctor plate and the wet bottom. Another factor which we assumed to further improve the alignment of the platelets is the dumping of the building platform into the suspension. After printing, 
The green bodies consist of the ceramic powder and a polymeric network. This polymeric network still has to be removed through binder burnout at 430 degrees C. In our case, um, after binder burnout, a very open, porous, fragile body remains. This then has further to be sintered um, at very high temperatures, in our case at 1600 degrees C for alumina to a fully dense body. The sintered aqueous and textured alumina were further characterized according to their relative density using the Archimedes principle according to the microstructure. Here, cross sections were grinded and polished for textured. The grains were oriented parallel to the C-axis and the surfaces were then analyzed in the scanning electron micro microscope. To not just evaluate the texture um, microscopic, also XOD measurements were taken to quantify the texture. On the one side, XRD patterns were taken from the equiax and the textured alumina. Here, the intensities of the peaks were um, used to define the loturing factor. Loturing factor for one describes a perfect orientation of the grains. And since the loturing factor only gives information about that, um, Grains are oriented, but not how well they are oriented. Also, a rocking curve was taken at a 001 peak angle of the textured alumina sample. Um, with the rocking curve, you can get information about the degree of texture from the full width of half maximum. If this is narrow, the texture is pretty high. And with the March to last bit, with the March to last equation, um, you can evaluate the R value and the F value, where the R value describes the, the quality or describes how well the grains are oriented according to the C-axis. So if the R value is low, this is a high degree of texture, and the F value describes the volume fraction of oriented material, so this is desired to be close to 1. In the last step, the BXCR strength test was um, performed on both materials, equiax and textured alumina, and fractography was done on the fracture surfaces. To the results for textured alumina, um, a relative density of 39% was achieved for XX 99%. An average grain size was measured for textured alumina in horizontal and vertical direction to determine the aspect ratio of 2.9. This um, is desired to be improved. And in the micrographs, you can see that we succeeded in texturing alumina with 3D printing. Here you can see the elongated grains um, having a certain direction in comparison to randomly oriented grains in the XX alumina. To, according to the XRT measurements, down here you can see the XRT patterns for XX alumina and textured alumina. Um, it is obvious that for textured alumina, the 0001 peaks are dominant in comparison to XX alumina, where um, the, the peaks represent the randomly orientation of the gra grains. The intensities of the peaks um, of both patterns were then used um, according to those those equations to evaluate the lottering factor. Um, the lottering factor achieved for textured alumina here was 0 0.83. And the rocking curve 
was then measured at the two theta angle of the 0, 0, 0, 12 peak for textured alumina. Um, the curve you can see here in blue. From this curve, the full width of half maximum was evaluated to be 6.3. And with the match to last fit, here the match to last equation, um, an R value of 0 0.17 was found and an F value of 0 0.64. To the BXL strength, um, a ball and free ball strength test was performed on 30 specimens for textured and exact alumina, and the measurements were evaluated according to Weibel statistics. Here, a characteristic strength of 640 megapascal was found for textured alumina and 570 megapascal for exact alumina. The higher characteristic strength of the textured material is assumed to be due to a higher fracture toughness resulting from crack propagation um, mechanisms as deflection or bifurcation. Unfortunately, the fracture toughness um, still has to be measured. Fracture analysis of fracture surfaces from BXL strength tests showed that for textured alumina, mainly pores were origins of failure. Um, those pores are induced through processing. In comparison for ectex alumina, clusters of abnormally grown grains were found to be the origins of failure. Now I'm pretty much at the end of my talk. Just to conclude, we succeeded in fabricating textured alumina with 3D printing reported for the first time by using lithography based ceramic manufacturing. The platelets were aligned through shear forces and the relative porosity below 7% was measured for temp textured alumina with a high degree and quality of texture and a high BXL strength. So thanks for listening and have a great day. Thank you.